Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shauna from Created and Made, and today and I'm, I'm going to be showing you guys a really quick, really simple, really easy technique to create an artistic representation of something without being that great at drawing. Now, what I have in, what you see in front of you is I have a light table, um, which you do not need. That part is optional. But on top of that, I have a five by seven image, which I printed from unsplash.com. And on top of the image, I have my five by seven gel plate. Now, <clears throat> my gel plate has a yellow tinge to it. Yours might be clear. Regardless, you don't need the light table to see through the plate adequately. I'm going over the top of the image with my alcohol based marker. That's another thing that you need. Um, water based markers will not really work for this technique because they will bead up on the plate. So I'm using an alcohol based marker and I'm just tracing the image as you see me doing. I'm just going over what I am seeing in the image and what I want to highlight in the image. I mean, you don't have to trace everything. It doesn't have to be a 100% full uh, representation of what the original image is. It's just art, you know. Trace it as best as you can. Um, the image, as I said, I printed it to fit the plate that I was using. I knew I was going to be using a 5x7, so I printed a 5x7 image. If you have a bigger plate or a smaller plate, then you want to print your image accordingly. Um, I used a color laser printer, but that part doesn't really matter either. Use what you have. It just needs to be a good enough print so that you can um, sort of see where you're going with the tracing. Um, this is a really forgiving technique as well. If you mess up, which I just did, um, the nose is a little wonky, you can get yourself some hand sanitizer and a cosmetic sponge and just erase it and try it again. I think I did this nose three or four times. I just couldn't get the profile right, even though it's a pretty simple profile, whatever. It's easy to fix if you make a mistake and it's easy to get a do over. Now, I did mention that this was a, an alcohol-based marker. It is is Ohuhu to be specific. I'll drop a link in the description, but you can also use a Sharpie or Copic, any alcohol based marker. And additionally, a little more information about Unsplash. That's where I got this photo from. You can get the exact photo in the description, but they have so many other things there. And it's important when you're doing a sort of a re reproduction of somebody else's work like this that. Uh, you think about the copyright issue, the royalty free of it all, and Unsplash is a good resource to get. Make sure, you know, there are no issues in that regard. And um, I will also, oh, I already said, I will drop a link to this in the description, this image itself. Now, <clears throat> once you're done with your tracing, and I think I'm pretty close here, you just pull the gel plate off of the image and put the image aside because we're going to use it in a second to make a mask and there you have it now you can go ahead and pull this on whatever paper you like to use when you pull prints i am not using acrylic paint i'm using matte gel medium because i want the background to remain clear it's the same concept though you just use a, a thin layer of paint and and then get your cardstock over the top and burnish it pretty well and pull the print this way so there you have it. At this stage, you can actually scan this so you can keep it and use it and print it out over the top of other gel prints later if you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the original image and my Tim Holtz shears and I'm going to make a mask. Now, the part that I want to paint is the part that I'm cutting off right now, which was that piece of blue background you just saw. And I'm going to use what remains to mask over her face so that I can paint clear um, cleanly and not have to worry about getting stuff on her face or what have you now before i go ahead and put that mask on i actually did freehand paint the background with a solid color i mean you can use the mask to do this too i didn't find it necessary um, the mask was more useful for me in the next step when i do a pattern over the top but this is gina wakely paint and um I don't, I don't know whether it's Tangelo, Tangerine, you know, the lighter colored orange in Dina's line. And I'm just filling the background here with that color. And then I'm gonna get my mask and that blue tape is just, you know, standard painter's tape. It won't 
rip anything when you pull it off and I'm going to I have my pouncer there my you know those <laughs> those mushroom uh based cosmetic sponge that are real popular sponges that are popular now I don't do ink blending so I have no skin in that ink blending game but these work really well for um pouncing acrylic paint like I like them for that purpose so that's what I'm doing here I got my Tim Holtz stencil and I'm just pouncing a darker colored orange over the top of that light orange background and when you pull off the mask you see how perfect it fits right in there so what I'm doing now is I'm going to create a second mask and again the part that I want to paint is the part that I'm cutting off and that is at this point her headscarf so I am cutting around that now and I'm going to use her what, what, what remains to block that off and get a clean area to paint for the headscarf now <clears throat> you've probably seen the thumbnail image so you know that i did not go ahead and, and do any sort of color on her face and so you know what was a brown girl is no longer a brown girl i mean i think she still retains her ethnic her ethnic traits or whatever it's still you know it's true to who she is but to i didn't feel like i had the skill to do coloring over her face but you could if you want it, it to still be brown, you could use like a craft paper to pull the print or a paper that has a tone already. And um, that should work just fine. So what I'm doing here is I used, um, what is this? Lapis. This is lapis and I'm doing with the pattern and the color underneath, I believe is sky still all with the Gina Wakely line. And that is the, what I'm, putting as her pattern on her headscarf and I'm just filling in the rest of it here with my my pouncer that still has some paint on it and for the most part I mean that's all there is to it I'm going to touch some areas up there's some places where it looks wonky uh, there's a part of her headscarf there near her shoulder that I just left out <laughs> for whatever reason and so I, I do need to fix that and you see I did that there I colored that in with the lighter color paint and I am giving some color to her earring and her her lip and then I'm pretty sure I'm going to go in and, and outline the edge really simple really easy you can see using this technique um to well, for a self-portrait for a picture of your dog for <laughs> you know you can um colorize it trace it and colorize it and make it look artistic and beautiful in a way that perhaps you um don't have the skill to do otherwise so i hope you guys like this video and if you did please go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe i hope to see you guys next time and in the meantime keep creating and making bye bye